morning folks welcome back to the channel uh, me and Charlie are at Lake Truman right now um, we are um, going to uh, try to snag some spoonbill and it's snagging seasons uh, right now we are trying to get uh, Charlie's boat ready prepped up so uh, as soon as we get this um, out of the way uh, we'll take you guys out on this lake and see if we can snag some spoonbill and um all we want is one <laughs> so if we could get one then uh it's gonna be a catch and cook uh video also and it's my first time uh coming out here for uh snagging okay so uh charlie's been here for uh uh quite a bit now so he's he's like the veteran of uh, spoon uh, bill uh, snagging so uh yep um he'll be uh my guide so uh yeah uh, stick around guys and uh, I'll update you as soon as we uh, uh, get on the water and uh, put everything on the uh, uh, like the poles and stuff on water and uh, yeah all right guys so we finally uh, got the boat square away the electronics but right now Charlie is uh, is rigging this uh, uh, his rig up <laughs> We're using this massive uh, treble hooks. And of course, like what, an ounce weight, is it? Um, I've got between six and 10 ounce weights. Okay. Uh, depending on the current. Yeah. How much, how fast we're going, it, that depends on how much weight we put on, but we roughly want to be yeah. about two, three feet off the ground yep. or off the bottom. Yep. All right, so basically guys, these, this is the pole that, that I'll be using. And it's basically, we're using a uh, deep, deep sea fishing pole, like saltwater fishing pole. So uh, yeah, these fish could uh, range anywhere between from 20 all the way, what, to 80 pounds, Charlie? Oh, uh, probably, oh, uh, biggest one that I've seen pulled out here, I think it's about 108 pounds. Yeah, so, you know, they get massive. All right, Charlie, I'm just gonna let you uh, take care of that. And then uh, when everything's ready, uh, let's head out. There's not a lot of people here. That's a good thing. So they're not scattered everywhere. Yeah. It's really a nice day. Very sunny, uh, nice and sunny, uh, no wind. Well, little wind, like five miles per hour. But uh, yeah. It's gonna be in the 70s uh, during the uh, middays, but right now it's probably around 60. Look at that view, guys. If you get lucky, we might see some bald eagle. There's a bald eagle nest in that one over there. In that one uh, power pole. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we've been here like for uh, two hours now, and uh, uh, let me explain how we rig it up. So, is I have two big treble hooks about 20, 20 inches apart, and I have, I believe, an eight ounce uh, sinker. And so, this is what we, we do we just put it in the water and, uh, and just let it go. And, uh, well, right now Charlie's filming <laughs> and, and driving, driving also. So uh, yeah. So basically, we just get a uh, let it go, uh, let the line go, like probably about uh, 60, about, about, about 60, 60 feet, 60, 60, 70 feet away yeah. from the boat, and um, it's basically um, just trolling, uh, but with with a little bit of um, force to it. Okay, let's get this out first like for example this right here it is about 60 feet right and then once in a while like for me uh well as charlie explained it every every 30 seconds or so like just kind of like sway your 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 uh, fishing pole back like this back and forth the key is try back to keep it off the ground yeah. about about you know two or three feet maybe yeah. four depending on where the the spoon bill is uh, suspended. Yeah, and then uh, once you, if you get tired, if your arm gets tired, just hold on to it like this until you 
feel attention or pulling against you. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, uh, like I stated, uh, we've been here like for two hours now. We haven't got anything yet. Uh, so we get to uh, try to fish some more and see if we can get some. But uh, if we do, uh, we'll uh, let you guys know. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I wish, uh, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is my first time uh, try the snack for spoonbill so uh, it's gonna be quite interesting so uh, yeah uh, so I'm gonna uh, uh, me and Charlie's gonna continue uh, uh, snagging <laughs> that's why they call it not fishing so it's nagging and uh, let's see if we can get some okay all right uh, until then stand by okay guys well looks like Cal's got one after what how many hours <laughs> I don't know he could be a carp who knows Maybe I want to see that spoonbill, or yeah, like you say, it could be a big. Yeah, cabin. make sure you got tension on it at all times. Okay. I bet it is because it's going pretty slow. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. What is it? I mean, it's, it's trying to go down though. Yeah. Whew. I hope the line don't break on me. Oh, heck no. Is it? Is it? Is it a spoonbill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oops. Oh, right there. Oh, almost missed him. Grab it. Oh. Is it legal? I don't know. Oh, look at that. God. We got to measure. Yeah, let's measure this. Thing. All right. Is... Sorry, the filming. It's okay. Here, you measure. I film it. All right. All right. Okay. I'm gonna take over the camera now. Sorry about that. Whew. Okay. Should now... be 34 from the eye to the fork. Okay. So this is the one I just got. It's a little one too. Oh. A little male. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Sorry about the camera. Uh, yeah. This is the one that I just caught. Uh, we'll is see. it is it legal? Oh no. I don't think so. You are at, looks like about 32. Is it 32? To the fork or to the tip of the tail? I think it's to the fork. Not, maybe it's to the tip, is it? We'll, we'll look it up. You are 34? 30, like 31 and a half. Okay, 31 and a half. 32. Huh? 32? All right. I uh, think it's to the tip of the tail. Oh, yeah, if it's too... Um, no, well, no, I'm no. sorry. It's, I think it's to the fork. Yeah, well, look it up. We'll Google it up, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I caught this spoonbill right here. And uh, it's two inch shy. So it's 34 inch for uh, the limit, size limit, uh, minimum. So uh, uh, sadly, uh, I have to let it go. Uh, darn, I was about to do a catch and cook on this thing. It looks delicious <laughs> Anyway, it's about what 16 pounds when we weigh yep, it. It's yeah. fairly small. Yeah, very small They usually get about 40 to 80 pounds. Yeah, out all here. right, uh, Charlie. Yep. Uh, come over here and uh, you know, make a video uh, I, I get to release it All right Okay. All maybe right. next time. Yeah, maybe next time. All right guy uh, Go and this is a male, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. It's usually. Yeah. Go and uh, get bigger. There he goes. <laughs> All right, guys. After five hours, five hard hours. Yeah. Finally, my first uh, spoonbill. And <laughs> well, that that was quite an experience. It's different from fishing, but it's also called fishing. But anyway. All right. Let's see if we can get some more. All right. Oh, maybe one more. <laughs> maybe that one might be the monster. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. Yeah. This, this looks like a big one. We'll see. Yeah. This could be a, another log. Yeah. <laughs> after what? After another? After two hours, right? From that one. Yep. Yeah. So this is the. Uh... Here, let me get a pie so that way I can film you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Get up high. I got it. You got it? Yep. So I'm just holding on to it. Just wear it out. Yeah, yeah. You got all the stuff out of here. I'm not tripping. Get your anger, man. Maybe I might need to get Nah, it. he'll, he'll, if it's big enough, he'll toll us around. Just wear it out. Just make sure you got tension on it, on the hook at all times. Yeah. Keep reeling. Oh man. Oh shit, it's brown. Oh shit. If it's swimming. Ooh. It's swimming. It's swimming. It's swimming. I don't know what we got here, guys. It, it could be a big spoonbill or pedalfish or a big catfish. But it's, it's running. It's running, guys. Oh. Whoa, what an experience. Yeah, we'll go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow it, yeah, follow it. We'll start backing the boat up. Yeah, follow it. Woo. Man, my arm's getting tired already. Can't give up! <laughs> Man. If it's swimming to you, you gotta reel it. Because if you... Okay, let go of the, let go of the boat. Let go of the boat. Okay. I go with the boat. It's swimming towards me. Man. I won't zoom in on the fish till you get it closer. Yeah. It's right under us now. Alright, let's see if I can get the gap yeah, in stick. It's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the hook. Oh. Damn. Oh, dude, look. I got him right here, dude. Yeah, you barely got it, too. Barely got him. Barely that's got definitely, him. um, that's man, probably guys. about a 35 pounder, maybe. Yeah, man, guys. Look at that. Here look at that. <laughs> After almost eight hours. Finally got it. We finally got it. So this is the second one. That looks like a male. It's, I don't think it's big yeah. enough to be a female. But uh, guys, be... uh, let me let me get this trouble hooks out so I can pick it up. Yeah. Uh, how do, oh, here it is. Woo. All right. Let's reel up the rods and uh, get it. That way you don't trip all over it. Yeah. And... All right, guys. Uh, let me show you uh, the, the size of this monster. <laughs> Look at that. Right. First keeper yeah, first in Missouri. Keeper. Missouri, yeah. spoonbill, uh, snagging. <laughs> we can get a weight on it if you want. <sighs> yeah, yeah. There you go. You weight this baby. I already poked a hole in it with a gaff. Yeah. So. so right here. Okay, how many, how many pounds do I got? Oh, you got to turn on first. Oh, oh turn on? Yeah. Got, got a little bit excited. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I hope it doesn't fall into the water. Oh, it won't. It How many pounds like, you got? I can't be right. That's only... Here, uh, we'll reset it because you, it was only reading like 16. I think you got to oh, take all the weight off of telegram. it. Oh, All right, let's uh, pick let's it up see. again. Okay, what you see, Charlie? Uh, let's see. 30, 35, 30, 35 and a half pounds. Woo. That's definitely. Man. What a, what a fish. Round what one. a fish. First one. Yeah. Here. You want to take that? Yeah. All right, Charlie, pick it up. Just pick it up. So. Oh. Yeah. We will, uh, yeah. Yeah. Pick it up too. Oh, I, I don't yeah. need. It's your fish. Yeah, but anyway, pick it up, man. Oh, you want me to? Yeah, yeah, pick it up and take a feel of it. Wow, well, I'm definitely. This is uh, 
Yeah, right there. 35. The big, big, biggest one comes about an 82. Yeah. So you can imagine three times this size. Yeah, there you go. Right. Oh, man. Woo. At least, hey, can't go home empty yeah. handed now. All right. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I want to thank Charlie for taking me out on this trip. Uh, this is his boat. So, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm very, very, very excited and I'm very Actually, happy right now. More. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. So let's see if we can get one more. But if not, then, you know, we'll be, yeah, we'll be taking this fish home and we get to do a catch and cook also. Uh, well, we, we catch it, right? So we get to do the cooking, okay? And let's see how this fish tastes out. It's a, it's a dinosaur. It's a prehistoric fish. All right. Thanks again, Charlie. All right. Okay. Stand by, guys. Stand by. All right, guys. Uh, we uh, finally uh, got the boat back uh, on land and all hitch up right now uh we'll be heading back home and uh there he goes there's the fish right there so uh yeah we'll be uh doing a catch and cook on this fish and uh it'll be on the uh, second part of this video okay so the first part will be uh just to catch the fish and the second part um i will do uh, a cook on it and uh yeah i'm still uh kind of new in cooking this type of fish because i never ate it before so i'm gonna do a some uh, research on youtube also <laughs> see how they cook it and then i'll do uh, a video of uh of how to cook it and uh yeah i appreciate you guys for watching and uh yeah i guess i'll see you on the next video then and until then uh, stay safe now all right guys